All right, today's adventure just involved a call to the UK to try to troubleshoot a 15-year-old circuit board on the remote control to this uh, relay switch. That there controls this. So if I turn that on, this hopper walker will now turn. Whereas before, I didn't have a way to program this or to actually get this remote program to that board. I had this uh, this printout which is helpful-ish but the phone call to the uh, tech support really cleared it up. Now I've got this back in, this hydraulic cylinder, I got that rebuilt. Put a new hose on it. The hydraulic cylinders rebuilt. Like I said, it was a little sticky. And that, that tech guy said he thought maybe the barrel was had a little corrosion because this is a single acting hydraulic cylinder. There's a breather port up here where the air gets expelled. So it's basically just the weight of this uh, auger will, will force the cylinder back down. If I open it up on the, there's a valve on the end of the hose. So I've got to tighten this cable up up here. This end of it. I've got to tighten that, cinch that up a little bit. And then now that I've got the uh, hopper swing auger motor figured out, I'll work on this, getting this cable tight. Oh, the other component of that, I bought this auger used a year ago from a dealer who told me that the farmer who sold it to him had a shop or somebody in North Dakota cobble together these components. It's not Hopper Walker. It's not a manufacturer who put this kit together. It's some guy, not some guy, but a guy in his garage or a small shop using off-the-shelf components. You know, these motors, uh, this control box, this, it's called RF Solutions out of the UK, this Wi-Fi unit. You know, it's 10 or 20 year old technology and then it's powered, the 12 volts comes off the, uh, off the tractor battery, whatever, 800 amps, and you gotta step all that down. So there's really no way to, um, I'm not an electrician, but I've started to get an understanding of relays and trying to figure out how some of this stuff works. So that was a win. I'm still waiting. My swather's sitting over there. Ronnie, the technician, is supposed to come out today. There's a problem with the, the uh, draper belt and reel lift cylinders being out of phase. I've bled them per the book, the operator's manual, and that doesn't seem to have helped. They raise and lower, but not they're in the wrong sink. They're like 180 degrees out of phase. Um, oh, and I have a belt that's coming tomorrow too, a drive belt for a counter shaft I have to replace. But the pickup head is on the combine. That works. Oh, it needs to be calibrated. There's a header error, but it works. I can do without that. It's supposed to rain a little tomorrow, and then I'm hoping after that I'll be able to swath. I got a lot of weeds out there in my uh, in my wheat, and I'll swath that and uh, see what happens. I feel like I'm always driving on three wheels on a. Uh, a one-way road ready to go off the cliff at any moment um, but today was <laughs> a success oh and there's some buckwheat in the background you can see that that little patch there it's flowering it might be hard to see them I mean, it's all the different color schemes and everything but uh, about three acres of buckwheat out there where it was too wet to plant wheat Thanks for watching, and I'll uh, see you in a bit. Oh, my dad's out there bolting a couple things together. It's nice to see him up here. Take care.